Hey everyone, just doing a video about Anthony Joshua. I saw something a couple of days ago where Anthony Joshua was in Dubai, he met Chris Eubank Jr. And what I found really silly, the point of this video, and if anyone disagrees, please leave in the comments tell me why. But basically I saw this sort of video of Anthony Joshua hitting the heavy bag and Floyd Mayweather Jr. is watching him, you know. So I, I just think it's silly because I don't understand this mentality where what's Josh, Joshua trying to achieve? And before I start explaining my points, if anybody disagrees or if you think I make no sense, just tell me, I'm not, I'm not bothered. Anybody that leaves comments on my video, I just think people are people. So if you used to come, if you used to come meet me, I'm a very talkative person. I'll talk to anybody. So, you know, in the meantime, I mean, once I'm more famous, I'm, I'm happy to do sort of, I'm being serious. I'm happy to do sort of public appearances. Like, you know, anyone can come meet me at the gym at such and such time. I'm probably not really famous enough yet, so I can't be bothered doing it. But I talk to anyone. People are just people. So this whole Mayweather situation, look, first of all, look, to me, there's no way Joshua's beating Usyk now. There's no way. You're running from gym to gym to gym, from country to country to country, UK, Dubai, and America. Uh, asking this guy and that guy for advice. You're going to Canelo's trainer. And I'd, I'd say this to Joshua's face. You're, you're, you're just not accepting that you're not a good enough fighter. On that day, you weren't good enough and your skill set is limited. I'm not saying I'm not saying you can never beat Usyk, but you're not beating him in your next fight because you're not spending enough time. First of all, to rematch him again, I think it's too soon because you're not giving... It's like, I'll use myself as, a, as an example. And where is... I'm, forget humbleness, I'm not going to be humble anymore. Uh, look, I've, I've boxed and I've sparred people, so I can give an opinion. And my opinion is more relevant than most people watching this video. I, I guess you have a box, so I'm not saying you can't have an opinion. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I've got an idea, is what I'm saying. I'm not saying I can't be wrong, but you don't need to box. There could be people that have never boxed in their lives who have much more knowledge than me. So, I'm, I, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, but there, there could be people out there that have much more knowledge. Well, it's not even could be. There are people out there that have more knowledge about boxing than me, even if they've never boxed. So, yeah, so I'll just, you know, let me clarify that. For my own experiences boxing, I'm very good. If you talk about boxing skill, I'm, very, I'm a very good boxer. I've got quick hands, good reflexes. I've got good timing. I'm telling you from an objective point of view. Anybody that fights me, it's difficult to beat me in terms of a boxing point of view, boxing style. But I mean, two of the two of the people I boxed last year, their own corners told them. They said they told me afterwards. They said you're not going to beat this guy, me. You're not going to beat this guy in a boxing match. If you want to beat me, obviously I'm not saying I can't be beaten. But it's difficult to beat me in terms of boxing skills. You're going to try and trade jabs and slip and skill it's going to be difficult to beat me if you want to beat me well you just got to rush at me i'm not when people rush at me i just sort of I, I i sort of lose focus and i sort of i just sort of shut down it, it, it is a massive weakness which i am working on but it takes time to sort of develop these things and but it's like everything everyone talks a certain way they walk a certain way people have habits they repeat they have patterns so that's what I'm saying about Joshua. You're not, you're the way you box. I'm not saying there's anything. You've boxed at a high level. Give you credit for your success, but Usyk's just better than you at this moment in time. And if you're not willing to accept that, and if you're not willing to admit that, like I am, well, I admit that I've got certain weaknesses. That I've, you know, I've sparred people where, and obviously I've had fights with people. If if you were to try and if if these people boxed my way, I'd make you look silly, and I have. But if you was to come at me in a different sort of way, which I'm not as used to, then you're going to give me problems. And I accept that, I admit that. You know, so... But Joshua just needs to accept that fact. Two six a more developed fighter. And I just think Joshua's a silly person. I don't even... Thing is, yeah, I'm not the same person I used to be, so... I don't even care about interviewing these people. Like, if I was to interview Joshua, I don't mind. Obviously, I'm, I'm desperate to spar him, but even that, 
yes, you know, if it comes up, it comes up. But I'm not going to beg anybody to, oh, please, Joshua, please come to my channel. If it happens, it happens. But I just think the guy's a clown. You know, you call Lennox Lewis a clown. Not that I'm taking sides. But you're not willing to just accept the truth. You're not willing to just speak honestly. And you say all this stuff about hungry, humble, blah, blah, blah. But then now you run into Floyd Mayweather. Well, what's Floyd going to do? Oh, Floyd's going to watch me hit the heavy bag. So if anyone thinks I'm being harsh or out of order, just say so. But what's that going to do though? You're not you're not a Mayweather type boxer. Mayweather's a very intellectual fighter. It's like me. I'm clever. I've got good timing, good speed, good skill. But if you come at me, some like Maidana. Maidana will give me nightmares. Also, I'm not saying Maidana himself, but someone with that style, you're going to give me problems because I don't I don't like to stand and fight. I, I'm like I tell you what, forget Mayweather. I'm similar to Bernard Hopkins. I like a nice slow pace. But if you come at me aggressively, if you come at me like Maidana or Roberto Duran or Mike Tyson, if you try to fight me, if you put it on me, I shut down. And you know you're gonna catch you know you catch me, you're gonna catch me all shots. You're not gonna catch me in the centre of the ring. It's it's more difficult there. Unless you might land the occasional shot. But if you box aggressively, that's what gives me the most problems. So I wish Joshua a well, I've got nothing against him, but I don't really understand what you're going to Floyd Mayweather for. You're very different from Mayweather. And how long has it taken Floyd to master his craft? Anthony Joshua hasn't mastered his craft. Have we ever seen Mayweather get knocked out Andy Ruiz style? Have we ever seen Mayweather get scored? get schooled Usyk style who else Klitschko drop me Klitschko drop Joshua you know we've never seen Floyd drop get dropped I think there was a fight with Zab Judo where they said Floyd's glove touched the canvas well I just I think that was a balance sort of you know it's happened to me before sometimes certain punches might just get you off balance I, I personally don't think it was a knockdown but obviously Floyd's never been knocked out I think you know maybe the closest was Mosley but I just think Floyd's not, he's a different kind of fighter from Joshua and I wish Joshua well and to finish off, I think I've said most of it, but I think a lot of people in boxing are silly as well because you're just not giving the guy a reality check. Oh, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to Canelo's gym, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there, I'm going to, alright, do what you want, it's your life and if Joshua sees this video, alright, don't, don't, don't do an interview with me, I don't care. You know, I'm focused on building my own life. I've got fights coming up. I don't need to interview people in boxing to become relevant. I, t I talk a lot more than Joshua, and I'm, I'm more interesting than Joshua. I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm. So I don't. I haven't achieved what he's achieved, but my mentality is: let me go out and achieve my own life. Like, you don't have to interview people in boxing to become relevant. So you know, that's something a lot of fat, a lot of people online are too dumb to understand i'm not desperate to interview these people in boxing yeah if it comes up i'll do it but i'm always going to speak the truth to a person's face if someone doesn't like it then we just got our separate ways it's just an interview like it's, it'll be different if say say it was a lottery ticket that would be different but an interview isn't really going to do much to change my life i'm not really fussed but I wish Joshua well and I was just saying about people in boxing but then people in boxing are part of the problem because when you when you talk to him you're not really putting it on him just just stay at one gym pick a trainer pick a gym sit down and focus I would, if I was you I wouldn't rematch you six so quickly you need more time but do what you want most people in boxing are silly most people in boxing are arrogant they've got egos and it's, it's bravado. Oh, I've, I've got a loss and I'm going to have an instant rematch. Why? Uh, when Muhammad Ali lost, he had rematches, but he had rematches down the line. You don't need to have a rematch straight away. But, you know, do what you want. And, you know, if you lose to Usyk again, then that's going to be your your uh, downfall. It's going to cause problems for you. But do what you want, Joshua. I wish you well. And obviously, I know I, I very much doubt he's watching this video, but obviously, it's just figure of speech. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.